This is John Girardi from Right to Life of Central California with the Right to Life Minute. Last week, a group of 13 Republican lawmakers joined with Democrats in the House of Representatives to pass President Biden and Senator Manchin's big infrastructure bill. This was a big $1.2 trillion spending bill, uh, much of which will go to certain kinds of infrastructure. This bill was opposed by the majority in the Republican Party. And the fact that those 13 members of the House voted for it has caused a lot of people in the Republican establishment to be pretty angry. There have been calls to kick Kevin McCarthy out of his position as a minority leader of the Republicans. Uh, there have been calls to primary all 13 of those members of the House who voted in favor of the bill. Many of them are from Democrat-leaning districts, and many of them are from states that rely on federal spending, like Alaska. And this is the reason why a lot of those Republicans were sort of inclined to vote for it. Now, we at Right to Life don't take a position one way or another on a big infrastructure spending bill. Uh, frankly, even I personally am fairly sanguine about it. If Democrats control the government, they're going to spend some money. But at the same time, it makes me a little angry that the Republican Party has so often failed us pro-lifers when it comes to our legislative priorities. During the Trump administration, we had a two-year stretch where Republicans had the White House, the House, and the Senate. And during that two-year stretch, Republicans did not pass the Conscience Protection Act, which would have counteracted a bunch of, I think, unlawful California provisions that mandate that every insurance plan sold in this state has to cover abortion. Republicans did not pass any legislation to defund Planned Parenthood from the bulk of its federal funding, which is from reimbursements from Medicaid in California, Medi-Cal. And the Republicans did not pass any legislation to outlaw, to get rid of the various pro-choice provisions of Obamacare which funds, which subsidizes insurance plans that cover abortion to the tune of billions and billions of dollars. But yet, when Republicans failed to do all those things, were there any calls for Paul Ryan's head? Were there any calls for Mitch McConnell's head? Were there any calls for Donald Trump's head over those issues? No. We just sit back and take it. Fundamentally, I think the Republican Party, if it's going to be electorally successful, needs to get its priorities straight. And again, we at Rights Life don't endorse the Republican Party. We don't oppose or endorse any political party. But what I do say is this. The Republican Party needs to realize that its chief and most enthusiastic voter base, the people who actually turn out for them, are pro-lifers. If they start delivering on those priorities and maybe focus a little bit less on money and spending, then maybe, just maybe, they can start getting more victories. For Right to Life of Central California, I'm John Girardi.